going on his back? What do you mean you're disappointed? Minnie has been accusing the lift of copying new jeans to create eyelid. This is literally just another Tuesday. Jenny's mantra, mama's criteria change, and so much more in today's episode of Totally Legit K-Pop News with me, Angelina. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with friends you don't have. Today's Friday video was originally going to just be like Jenny mantra review. Like there was not a lot to talk about. Honey at the National Assembly. But then I wake up to all this news, plagiarism, accusations, members coming back from groups. Actually, I found out about that last night and I made my short in a haste thinking I was going to wake up with like 300,000 views on that short woke up to 5,000 <laughs> but without further ado let's get into today's Friday video to enter the weekend with I don't know if that makes sense doesn't matter let's do this Oh. So of course, some very exciting yet simultaneously super controversial news we have after almost a year SM Entertainment announcing that Sengan will be returning to Rise now. It's an occasion for the masses i got confused needless to say this has been a long roller coaster for fans a lot of who felt like they were being left in the dark but for context last year in november again almost a year ago it was announced that singan would be going on hiatus now this was due to pre-debut content of his that was leaked much of which now is being rehashed due to this announcement that he is coming back to refresh our memory some of this content included him allegedly having a girlfriend being accused of going to a hotel with his girlfriend smoke going on live streams for like three people one of which literally leaked this stuff right and we all remember the infamous live stream of him with subin of txt where he showed his toe middle finger subin did i didn't have to clarify that i think you knew and this was an indefinite hiatus that he was put on leaving the interpretation open to a lot of people like the door was still open of course for him to come back but was that really probable and as months and months started going by i think a lot of fans were slowly losing hope someone in the comments is gonna be like i never i'm not talking about you if you didn't lose hope i'm not talking about you but i personally think the more months went by the more it correlated perhaps with people thinking that he was probably not gonna come back i don't know but nevertheless the wording of that original statement still left fans with a lot of hope because literally i have a right here after deep contemplation he relayed his intention to halt activities so halting activities means they could resume right it doesn't mean he's leaving the group i mean there's literally no words of him leaving the group we decided on the indefinite suspension of his activities but then again what does indefinite mean I mean, we know what indefinite means, but like to SM, what did that mean? Because if indefinite is an unknown amount of time, that could literally mean forever, right? And actually the rest of the statement seemed to defend him. Like the videos and photos that are being leaked and circulated were taken in his personal time during his trainee days before debut, saying that they were purposely spread to cause misunderstanding. You know, they seem to be backing him up in a sense but then also putting him on a hiatus and then it was just a lot of confusion if you were there to experience it it was confusing but fast forward to now wizard production who are in charge for producing for rise have released a statement talking about the process behind their decision to bring him back you know essentially they put their heart and soul into planning rise's debut and that included seven members so though you know sengan himself acknowledges the you know severity of the leaked material from his pre-debut life that he's very apologetic for they decided to bring him back and of course he's learned a lot during this time and so on so let's actually take a look at the statement so they addressed the statement to rise's fandom i always want to say Bryce. breeze we would like to cautiously make a statement regarding member singan's return and the direction of rise's future activities so they basically say it's been around 10 months since he went on hiatus and this is due to issues surrounding his personal life again the leaked material that we just talked about singan acknowledges that his past actions were wrong and he has currently halted activities for nearly a year while deeply reflecting on his actions and feeling apologetic to the other members and his fans we also recognize that singan's past actions were not not appropriate as an artist which is why it took us a long time to debate the timing of his return to activities they go on to say that since there was no announcement of him returning like i said it's been 10 months right fans became worried and concerned so they emphasize emphasize they empathize with those feelings 
But as we continued to debate the matter from various angles, our decision took some time, and we sincerely apologize for the fact that we are only now telling you our decision about the direction of Rise's future activities. So this is where they mention how they poured their hearts and souls into planning Rise since pre-debut, of course, and the next chapter would be more meaningful with seven members. Therefore, after numerous discussions with the staff and members about the direction of the group's future activities, it has been decided that Singan will be returning to the group. After joining the group in preparing for a certain amount of time, we plan for Singan to gradually participate in some of the group's scheduled activities for November and greet the fans once again. So even while he was on hiatus, he has been building his skills, practicing, and they hope that you will look warmly upon him. Once again, we sincerely apologize for causing confusion and difficulty to fans who have watched over and cheered for Rise's growth. However, as Rise is a group that aims to rise and realize their dreams, Rise and realize together the members think of the group as their top priority and are even at this very moment working hard to practice for the future activities we ask that you trust our decision so that we can properly show the fans a rise consisting of seven members so the rest is just like if you're curious about what they're going to do next we're eagerly looking forward to their next chapter as well. We will continue to work hard in the future to repay the fans with Rise's great music and performances while sharing the members' dreams. We ask that you stay with the members and share all of their moments of rising and realizing <laughs> that will continue to unfold in the future. So I'm sure your first thought is, if Sungan can return, <sighs> The possibilities are endless here. I'm sure there's a couple people you'd love to see return to their groups. So what? It's been four years. It doesn't matter, right? Now, he also wrote a letter to fans, a handwritten letter. I don't think we're going to read the whole thing. But he does, of course, apologize to his members and fans and he does talk about the pre-debut photos and videos although they were photos of me i was deeply disappointed and regretful about myself if even i felt that way i can't even imagine how the members and fans by my side must have felt he talks about fans being angry shocked disappointed apologizing again he talks about how the members are supporting him through this time how he's full of gratitude for this decision and also again apologizing. I know there's so much I need to show to the members who have taken my hand again, the fans who are worried that the achievements made in my absence might be tarnished, and the company that made the tough decision. Of course, they feel burden and fear about this aspect. However, I am determined to work even harder and do better because of the trust placed in me. He ends off again with an apology. You can, of course, pause to read. Now, like I mentioned, the responses have been quite divisive. Let's start with the funny ones. Of course, a little bit of humor before we get into the shit show. So <laughs> this cracked me up. Thank you, Beyonce. And this is, of course, the announcement that he's coming back. Someone tweeted, if they're going to take Tehan away early, can SM at least give me Sigan back before I KMS? <laughs> and then they quote tweeted themselves, the trade worked. For non-K-pop fans, this is like if Zayn returned to One Direction. <laughs> Sigan is coming back day 325 and it's just... It's a lot of days. Oh my god, keeping my grandma locked up in this cage until Sigan is back. Grandma is officially out, you guys. I wonder what bird they had to kick out of that to, <laughs> to make room for grandma. So again, while international fans seem to be super ecstatic about this news, you know, it really is mostly international fans who have been advocating for him to come back. Some people don't exactly share that sentiment. So here are some hashtags that have been trending since the announcement was made. Number three, number four, number five, trending X tag about rise right now so screw off free rider who is running the path who's ruining the path that six people paved rise exists as six people hong sang an out hong sang an out is also something that they pasted on protest trucks when they wanted him to be officially kicked out of the group so here are some responses supporting the fans i loved rise as six people he's coming back who does he think he is seriously who is he even though i fangirled on him before his debut who is he now please leave why are they setting up a wall to fandom entry i don't get it the fans will be the ones tired from this sm is definitely not overturning their decision i support this the fans hate this but the other six of them agreed to this if you're going to return you should have done it earlier doesn't he hate women? If you think that the money you spent training went to waste, then go solo instead and have Aljashi's fanboy on UF. Girls like OT6, please wake up. Now, some international fans, of course, agree with the sentiment that, like, 
he shouldn't have been on hiatus that long. Like, that is such a long break to be away from your group. But then again, well, it's different, right? Because it is a hi- like an indefinite hiatus due to a scandal. I was going to mention, like, there are artists who have left for, like, up to a year at a time from their groups and come back. But usually it's due to, you know, illness or something. But due to scandal... It's a lot different because, of course, due to illness, you have this understanding they're going to come back. It wasn't like explicitly clear that he was going to come back. So, of course, there's this concern of like all the achievements that they made during that one year and he just wasn't there. Not for any other reason of like health wise, like he could have been there. He just wasn't. Does that make sense? Anyways, but sometimes I've actually taken to protest wreaths. So you just send flowers in front of a company to send a message I don't know when we decided to leave protest trucks behind, when we decided to start wasting flowers instead of good old gas and electricity, but hey. So here's what some of the wreaths say. Rise is six, Hong Seung An out. Hong Seung An leave the group, rise to six members, Hong Seung An out. Here's some more responses. No way, I'm pissed off. No, rise is six members. Wow, so as long as it's not an extreme act, SM will just hold hands with anyone. This is hilarious. Rise's fans really got hit with misfortune. What is this? That's really released in their official account. Wow, I'm another group's fan and I can't even believe this. I seriously hate this. I honestly don't understand what SM is thinking. This person's label will stick to Rise moving forward and the fandom has already been accustomed to OT6. Is SM insane? No, but this is just wrong. This is what international fans wanted. Are they going for international expansion? So I don't know if you guys remember, but we've talked about Blind before. It's basically where verified employees can go and talk like on a forum, right? So allegedly, some SM employees have also expressed their disappointment in this news. Now, we're just going to stick to alleged, even though you need to go through a verification process to be able to post on these websites. But I digress. They talked too about international expansion that they're doing this for international fans this is obviously a ploy to attract international fans but international fans don't spend any money so what i need i need a minute here what (laughs) so everyone in the company is questioning the decision lol the label teased his return for months so if they are going to bring him back they should have done so earlier all of sm entertainment's employees are against the decision so what are they bringing him back for? We've been saying that the Korean fans who are the ones that actually spend money are fans of all six members, but the company still doesn't understand. SM Entertainment seems as if they're trying to screw the fandom over. K-pop fans these days are different from second generation fans. I couldn't agree more. The company has been through Super Junior and EXO controversies, but still hasn't learned anything. So the point of like... Korean fans spend more than international fans like obviously this would totally depend on how popular you are internationally but like I'm confused (laughs) I don't know so with all that said of course let me know your thoughts how you feel about his return I'm sure there's a lot of complicated thoughts like I mentioned like being gone for almost a year going on hiatus for maybe a reason that you didn't agree with or maybe you did I don't know let me know your thoughts if you think this is a good idea if you're happy all that jazz Welcome to our Hybe versus Adore feud section. Or rather, Hybe and New Adore versus Minhee Jin. The dynamics have changed a bit, but the story remains the same. Now, in a previous video, we talked about how New Jeans Honey and New Adore CEO Kim Ji Young were summoned to testify at the National Assembly. Now, Kim Ji Young's appearance, attendance to this is still a little unclear as of now, but Hani has confirmed that she will be attending. And she's also given reasons as to why she's attending. So she addresses bunnies in the group's messaging app phoning. So here's what she said. I've made up my mind. I will go to the National Assembly. Now for context, it seems that her as a witness, they wanted her to talk about workplace bullying, her as a witness she wasn't necessarily obligated to go is a bit confusing but it seems CEO Kim Jong should go but like you can get out of it it's just it's just whether or not that's an acceptable way of getting out of it if they'll accept your reasoning the parliamentary inspection of the administration I'll go alone you don't have to worry I'm going for myself and the members and bunnies too I decided to go for bunnies no it's not hard I want to go 
The managers and company still don't know. I thought about it a lot, but I think that it's right for me to go. No matter how much I think about it. Also, I wanted to tell bunnies first. We're going to talk about Adore's response after this, but how powerful is your support? You don't know how much it is. Going through so many things, I learned that first, the people who support me, I'm really thankful for that. I've never asked anybody to please support me. I think that supporting someone or taking someone's side isn't easy to do, especially when we never asked for it. Just how thankful I am of it. Also, you don't have to be sorry for only being able to support never also you don't have to worry no you don't i want to go i will go and you don't have to be sorry i will do well and come back i was wondering if i could say these things but through this experience i don't really know how things will turn out but i think it will be a learning experience for me and there are places i want to go got it thank you and i'm always thankful i will protect nudings and bunnies i don't think i can sleep i wasn't going to sleep either but i'll go i'll come back again i'll contact managing him once i wake up tomorrow don't worry. So the responses to this, mostly positive. Of course, there are people who are going to say like, wow, like someone didn't say hi to you and you think you're being mistreated. Like there are worse things going on in the world. But there are people, of course, defending against that as well. And I do have some things to say about that. I sincerely am rooting for her. She's only 20, but she seems more like an adult than me baby honey i support you she's so cool a foreigner attending a national assembly hearing where even only a small number of koreans typically show up seems brave it's great to see and i hope she says everything she wants to no but she's so commendable and praiseworthy i support you so as i mentioned we were going to talk about adore's response because she says verbatim she didn't tell her managers yet so in response Adore said we will check and contact you after but needless to say this is pretty big news with even the bbc covering this and we've definitely talked about this before but there's a lot of idols and professionals in the industry openly showing their support to new jeans but the funniest response i've seen of this is like people defending honey against people saying that she's been hiding her vietnamese identity <laughs> and her real name now these are just things i've seen on twitter honestly i've seen a lot more people like defending her rather than like the original tweets against her if that makes sense but like her real name is not honey and she's not korean which i think some people were surprised by so people are showing like videos of her speaking vietnamese because some people didn't know she was vietnamese <laughs> So here are just some people like again defending against her hiding the fact that she was Vietnamese. So there was this tweet going around that I saw like screenshots of OMG I went for Google it's true and like her real name here. So just people making fun of that as well. OMG I went for Google it's true Giselle real name Espa. <laughs> Her name's not Giselle. And then here, Honey's Crimes 4 p.m. KSD update. Update. Speaking up against mistreatment. Being Vietnamese new. <laughs> Having Honey as her stage name. <laughs> Avoiding a saw thing. I don't know what that's about. But anyways, that's it for Honey's story for today's video. Okay, so these are just my two cents about the issue about workplace bullying in particular. You know, just the big picture, the overall picture of big companies people in power abusing that power like you can be on whoever side you want to be on i think a lot of people have enough life experience to know that abuse of power isn't just like a fairy tale like it's not a one-off thing so these are just my two cents if it gets too heated i'm just gonna delete 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 i mean put yourself in that position if you're in a professional place of business we're just assuming everything being said is true there are ways that a professional place of business is supposed to professionally run and when you have like little clicks and people ignoring other people of course that does happen and of course it might not be the worst thing in the world but it's not professional either and i'm sure there's a lot of unprofessional things that happen in the entertainment industry that just get swept under the rug but like that's the point isn't it even not just the entertainment industry i actually just watched a video this morning by megan moon basically why there's so much cheating in korea it just brought me to this because because i've definitely heard of you know business people go out to drink with their bosses if you don't go out to drink with your bosses you might not get that promotion like you got to play along and like obviously that's messed up obviously that's something you would want to change but just because it's even considered the norm does that mean you shouldn't fight against it if that makes sense anyways about the cheating she was just like some people in companies will even have their bosses pay for them to go to like clubs if that makes sense and then if you don't participate then your boss might not think you're cool might not give you 
a promotion like that clearly should be illegal that shouldn't be a thing and i'm not comparing the instances but like there's work culture that's just straight up messed up you've probably experienced it in your day-to-day life too if you've ever worked in retail if you've ever worked in restaurants if you've ever worked literally anywhere ever there are probably instances where you're mistreated and it just feels wrong and you feel like you can't do anything about it of course you can go to higher ups and then sometimes there's just things that slip through the cracks all the time you feel helpless and there's nothing you can do there's these protections put in place that are supposed to protect you but they're not i mean you can th- there's so many situations where stuff like this can happen think of your landlord not fixing something and you're like well what do i do i can go to the higher ups but then what if this happens what about this repercussion like it's not always so black and white so if you're in your professional place of business and somebody is telling someone else to ignore you i mean of course you're gonna feel hurt like i understand it like feeling ostracized you know somebody doesn't have to like beat you up for it to be an issue do you know what i mean and anyways so those are my thoughts on it because of course we don't know the full situation and (laughs) or there's just like unique situations where you can't go to you just anyways and if we think of it from islet's point of view too how awkward is it to have your manager like dictate who you should and shouldn't talk to like no ignore that girl so if islet as well is in like in a situation where a manager is telling them to ignore someone obviously that's rude and obviously What are they going to do in the face of someone in charge of them? Do you know what I mean? Like it's playing with power dynamics. Like I understand the need to downplay certain things. Of course there are things worse that are happening. But also at the end of the day, like should we just sit and accept things just because there are worse things happening? Like think about your friends ignoring you. That hurts in and of itself. So imagine like a professional telling someone else to ignore you in your place of work. Anyways. Just, just some thoughts to ponder, right? Let's move on to the age-old claim that New Jean's entire concept was copied by Belift. Now, this isn't a new claim, but she has submitted new documents to the court outlining this. Now, we're getting to a point in the Adore vs. Hive feud where, sure, there's like new evidence coming out and people are reacting to this new evidence, but it's like, it's still technically the same story. Do you know what I mean? Like, these are all things we've seen before, but just repackaged in a different font. Because Min Hee Jin has been claiming plagiarism since the beginning of all this. I believe her first response to this, actually, because Hybe was like, you're trying to plan a hostile takeover of this company and go independent. And she's like, but actually, Eyelid's copying New Jeans. Like, that was her response to the takeover thing. Not the takeover, but wanting to go independent, right? That was like the the... The basis of this whole thing but again it seems that there's new evidence that she submitted to court basically she's saying belift had access to her new jeans concept plans when they were creating eyelid so i do want to put out a disclaimer eyelids do not deserve any hate these girls are totally innocent min hee jin has even said the girls didn't do anything this is a beef between her belift and hive so this is the screenshot that's been going around and it seems an employee has revealed this information according to page 9 and 10 a hive internal employee revealed to me that eyelids creative director asked for plans detailing the conception of new jeans during the conception stages of eyelid the employee then revealed that soon after the conceptual plans for both groups became identical and mostly the responses i've seen are really targeting belift like calling belift a copycat all that jazz We can leave Eyelid out of this, even though they keep being brought up. Going on to say, the Hype employee delivered the conception plans to Eyelid's creative director, but they had no idea that Belift Lab would make plans that were identical. The employee couldn't believe that Belift Lab was denying the plagiarism allegations and expressed their disdain about the situation. So, of course, this is like a big thing going around, and it was big enough for Belift to release a statement. So, we're going to look at a rough translation of it, but basically, they're saying that what Min Hee Jin is saying about copying new jeans is not true, that they're going to submit their own evidence as well again this is the same news just repackaged because belift made a whole video basically debunking that they copied new jeans we urge them to stop using the untrue content of this injunction against hive and to once again use it for their own trial and public opinion and manipulation it's pretty badly translated we're just gonna move on so in response to belift's statement there's a lot of comments basically saying like 
protect your artist like we're concerned about the well-being of your artist belift lab protect eyelid after going through the news regarding this issue i feel the topmost priority should be to ensure the well-being of all the artists they're in a precarious position right now because of all this and need support i've definitely seen a lot of people make like copying memes like the thief reference to be plagiarized the copying machine here new jeans belift so let's read some responses disgusting the plagiarism was well planned and executed from the beginning save new jeans as expected if you have eyes you can obviously tell the similarities wow it's such a relief that they have evidence win this while the people were insisting that it wasn't plagiarism and the kids were so pitiful this is ridiculous they seriously have no shame so they gathered a lot of evidence here and there and then it seems people are even digging into eyelids quote-unquote original concept what their concept was supposed to be saying it was originally supposed to be different than what it ended up being like for example in this are you next poster it says be the orange so people think it has to do with and hyphen like their concept originally was supposed to be darker than it was be the orange orange blood and hyphen orange is an important but rare color in the dark moon series one of the higher class vampires under dardan I didn't know this about what? <laughs> I didn't know there was so much lore. Fans theorized that Mocha was meant to represent her, that the islet members would be tied into the story through her. Lara's eyes were orange. So here's some responses to that. If you watch Are You Next, there were trainees that perfectly suited this concept. So I feel like it's even more of a pity. There's definitely a market for such a niche concept. Why did they change it? This looks good. This or that, they're all meh, but at least this isn't plagiarism, is it? This is way better than being a copy. Yuna got so popular even with their current concept but she would have suited this so much this lore is way better than promoting as copies even if you might think this concept is tacky concepts are all about how you pull it off so i think they would have done a good job with this why did they change it no but they should have gone with this it looks way better and fans can understand the lore better what do you think of this do you think this is in any way good evidence do you think of course going through a survival show and then ending up with specific members you would then change the concept to fit the members or what are your thoughts on all of this let me know in the comments jenny just released her music video for a mantra i'm not gonna lie it came out last night and it took me everything not to watch it i had to stay off twitter because i was just attacked with all these beautiful clips and i was like no you need to do a reaction for your channel members and patrons so let's do exactly that i will share a couple snippets for you guys but i've been dying i've been dying to watch this but i'm not gonna lie i already know the song i've listened to the song already let's do the highest quality auto-generated captions ill so we're gonna react to jenny's mantra i'm so excited so the pretty 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 like it gets cut off it reminds me so much of a parrot and i mean this with so much love i literally love parrots she looks like ice cream version jenny here but anyways pretty 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 <laughs> i love it it's so cute anyways. i'm not gonna lie when i first heard this snippet i was like oh, i thought it was gonna be so horrible but then hearing it within the song i don't hate it I literally love butt dances so much. I was, again, I was dying to watch this last night, but I really wanted to do a reaction to it. So I'm like, I wonder what the choreography looks like. I love this part so much. It's my favorite. Pretty, 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 pretty bird. So I already knew I loved it, but we just had to confirm. We just had to confirm that I loved it and I do. And I've seen, a, I've just seen a lot of praise. Nobody hating in the quotes. I used to pray for times like this. Don't you love it when a woman is confident in giving the same energy to other women? Jenny Mancha lyrics. I just want to look into the lyrics really quickly. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This, that flaunch I just touched down in LA. Pretty girls don't do drama lest we wanna. It'll be depending on the day. Pretty girls packed in a defender. No, I'm a defender. Never let her catch no stray. Make you want to swing both ways. Mix it with the drama. Check you like commas. What does that mean? Oh, my clothes are pajamas. Straight from the cold plunge. What? I don't get it, but <laughs> daytime baddie use her mind. Quick switch for the fit of the night. Serving through the lane will be 20 minutes late because we had to do in and out drive by. <gasps> Who? Did they pay her? Look at them Bonnies on the run. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde. I get it now. Okay, okay, okay. So of course, let me know what you thought of Jenny's mantra. I'm in love. I'm so excited to see this promoted on music shows to see all the looks she's going to come up with. But yeah, do let me know as well what you think.
Let's move on to K-pop shenanigans, which are basically fun little things that have happened in K-pop recently and or quick news. So Mama, the Eminent Asian Music Awards are changing their criteria for album of the year. So it's not only going to be based on sales anymore, but rather planning music, artwork, quality, visuals, and overall impact. What do you think of this change? As was Karina's solo song Up is charting like crazy. It reached number one on Melon, among other impressive rankings, which is really interesting because there's no official music video, but I know everyone Everyone was just at the edge of their seats waiting for up to drop. Hyuna and Yong Jin Hyung officially got married. Jenny is going to be performing Mancha on Jimmy Kimmel Live. There's this cute video of Won Young where a reporter is asking her for three more seconds and she just counts down with her fingers. <laughs> this is just for me. Well, it's for you too, obviously, but I wanted to check out Yeonjin's verse on Touch. So people are saying it's a, like literally like a response to what the girls are saying. So like, Sintana, gonna say you're sorry. And literally his first line is, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm glad they like changed it up a little bit. What do you think? Is that it? That's it. So our K-pop song of the day. Actually, we have two K-pop songs of the day. Mantra by Jenny and Up by Karina. I've just been loving listening to those songs one after the other. And then an honorable mention is Diet Pepsi by Addison Rae. I love those ethereal sounding songs. Kind of like Supernatural by Ariana Grande as well. I would put that in the same category. But those are songs I've been loving recently. What else have I been loving? Have I watched any? I was literally talking about like favorite YouTubers and stuff with my friend yesterday. My YouTube's not loading. I just want to see what like I've been watching recently. If there's anything worth sharing with you. I have Discovery Plus. I've been watching Welcome to Plathville. This last season sucks. Like it's horrible. I hate it. It's really not that good. But like the first couple of seasons, really juicy, dramatic, loved it. So I don't know if any of you guys watch TLC. Welcome to Plathville. I've been watching the new season of Sister Wives, Poppy Playtime. So I, I'm not a big gamer or anything, but I've watched, like, if there is a Poppy Playtime playthrough that exists, I've probably seen it. And chapter four is coming out in January. So I watched the trailer for that. I'm so excited. And I don't know why, because, like, I've literally never played it. I'd love to try playing, but I feel like I would just get really annoyed. It's better to watch other people play things, but I'm so excited for poppy playtime so a lot of you guys have been complimenting my skin you're like what's your skincare routine and sometimes when i get comments like that i'll have people be like she uses a face filter which is true which is fair here's the thing like i do have pores obviously everyone has pores but i have like one two three four five i have five sources of lighting here i have natural lighting i have two separate lightings i have the ceiling lighting i have a big four light bulb lamp in front of me so lighting is going to do a lot and i just wanted to talk about this never compare your skin to people online because there are face filters and lighting makes the biggest difference like even if i go on my phone if i go on my phone here my skin's gonna look good if i go in a different lighting it's gonna look horrible because i am wearing makeup if you're wearing makeup you can tell someone's wearing makeup and there's imperfections and like you can see the makeup do you know what i mean but you can't see the makeup here do you know what i mean i just don't want you guys to compare yourself to people online like your the skin in particular because i would do that so often i'm like how is this person's skin so perfect and i want my skin to be perfect and i got so obsessed with this idea of being perfect and i'm still obsessed with it but then like you find out that person was using a filter it really shatters your perception of like what you're idolizing online that being said i have prescription retinol and prescription azelaic acid go follow me on my second channel if you want more skincare stuff i make sure it's i talk more about what i use on my face but this is my favorite moisturizer i have very sensitive reactive skin so i've been trying really hard to keep it simple like so sensitive that sometimes i like can't even wear perfume so that is basically it for today's video thank you so much for joining me don't forget to like comment and share this video with friends you don't have these are the lovely individuals who help support my channel on a monthly basis it means the world to me thank you so much as for me i'm gonna get going so i'll see you guys next time bye